Hello cadets, this is Captain Alot here, and welcome back to uh, Tree of Life. Now, it's been a quite a while uh, since I last recorded this game. It seems to be like every week or weekish. Um, yeah, we've, again, lots of grinding has been happening, but we've been getting progress done, slowly. Um, I've literally spent today three and a half hours on the game, just grinding, trying to get my carpentry level up, and I kind of did want to record building some stuff but um let's let's just continue for a moment so we've got a few wells added here and um we've expand we've expanded the base a little bit more so this is a lot bigger now and also i've got the carpentry level 32 so stone walls are being made we haven't finished it obviously as you can see well i just wanted to give you a little while a little bit of an update that we're still going we're still playing uh we've got 15 members in our guild now again anyone who watches the video and they want to join the guild one go on the discord which uh, i should have a link in the description below which goes straight to my discord server um got a few bots running on there like a music bot which i think only i can actually control or the uh, ultimate dingles can control it's just to stop spamming on the music bot um got uh, we've got a casino bot so if you want to go gambling on my server not real money, just fake. But um, also put your name down in the comments below if you if you are joining this guild with your in-game name. So when I see you on the applicant list, I will know to accept you or not. Because I can't accept. I don't want to accept random people who just come onto the game and go, "Oh, can I join your guild?" Because we've already had it with one person took all the stuff out of our facilities and then left the guild. So I'm not doing that again. But right now we've got Kintaro and Andrew Robbins online right now they're helping me while I was off the game they've been grabbing sand and wood because that's what I need to finish off these walls I need the wood to make paper and make paper into scrolls and well I needed pencil as well ink however you want to say it is pencil in the game uh, so I can create the upgrades and I need plaster and stone bricks which we've got enough of I think we've got enough plaster now. That's why we needed the sand. Because it's part of the plaster ingredients. We had everything else like the hay. And the limestone powder. Um, but yeah we're, we're getting there. Slowly. Now the gold to upgrade the tree on the other hand. Is becoming a little bit annoying. We've needed to get to the level 6 tree. We needed 2 gold and 35 silver. So far we're down. Now that we only need 1 gold 88 silver. But it's still taking a very long time to go. And also, if you saw a Divinity video popped up on my channel not too long ago, unfortunately I have scrapped the recording of that now. Reason being is, we played a couple of hours that I recorded, which was all good. And um, I, made I was going to get them edited. But after the first video, we went to play some more Divinity so I can get some more recorded. And it was 102 minutes that we played for. And my recording program crashed. So um, that was nearly two hours of gameplay that we didn't really want to redo because we already know what's going. We already know what happens. There's no surprise in there anymore. There's no first time ha uh, first hand at that part of the game. So what we might do, we might do custom stories with that. But we will continue playing Divinity. It, otherwise, it's a waste of money. But, um. Yeah, I might do a little time lapse of this wall being built. I might be doing it while I'm talking right now. Or, no, because I've already said, I've already given little bits of what I've done. <laughs> uh, we've got an Elder's Chest. Only Elder rank can open it up and take stuff out of it and put stuff in. Anyone who's regular or below cannot. Yay! So, um, yeah, there was this one point someone stole all the iron. No, no idea who did it, but we got the iron back by collecting crap tons of iron and turning them into ingots and they're in the elders chest i think now uh, we've only got 60 iron left but that's cool we've been collecting some bits we literally collected a couple thousand firewood which we did put in here and i used all of it up to get to level 32 in um carpentry so there you go here's the levels that i've got so far 43 in login 32 in carpentry Mining I haven't been really doing anything of to be honest. Nearly level 30 in tinkering and I have no idea what I can make in when I'm level 30. 
I can have a look in here to see. I can make quality grip. Wow. And that's going to be for... Um, what's hiding iron? If someone knows what's hiding iron, tell me. Because I know there's mithril. And I'm not sure if that's next in the list. I'm guessing it is. But anyway, um, yeah. I guess we can continue building these walls. So, let's get right to it. Hopefully it won't take long. Okay, just to let you know, um, there was an update on the game that have got skins on it. If you go around killing enemies, they drop some sort of fragment down for it. And if I show you here in the Elder's Chest, um, so yeah, you got loads of different fragments. I got I picked up the idiot shark, obviously, because you know I'm an idiot. Uh, cute rabbit, chef hat, um, a flower headband. Watermelon hat, pirate hat, and a dance mask. I want the pirate hat mainly because of the boat that I've got. The little cart. Um, but you need 25 pieces of, of one of them just to create whatever it, whatever one it is. So the pirate hat, I need 25 fragments to create that pirate hat. And then it goes into the skins tab um, in your inventory. Because uh, Let me show you quickly. Uh, so you can change here and then you can put whatever in there. But I'm having a little feeling... Because I looked in the, if you go to the premium, premium has skins collection. So I'm guessing you're going to eventually be able to buy something uh, for skins, which I'm going to obviously do. Because, uh, you know, I like spending my money for no apparent reason on things that might be pointless. I would say like the backpack and the bum bag are completely pointless, but they're not. Anyway, enough of me mumbling. I'm... I might have said that while the while I'm time warping or whatever, speeding up the game. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to continue speeding up the game if I haven't done. Finally, finished the wall. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Alright, wall has finished. Jesus. I've got to say thank you, Andrew, for running around the wall, upgrading it for me. It's like I would have done it myself to get my carpentry level up, but that would have been a lot longer video and a lot longer of a time lapse. But uh, walls are now finished. Let's just let him know. Again. Before recording this, like earlier in the morning or early afternoon, it was three and a half hours into the game. To be honest, we weren't even doing the wall. We were just uh, getting big leather up in the... If I go to the map with the beautiful lag. Um, we went up to the blazing desert, killing cows and bulls because that, that they're completely everywhere on the blazing desert just to kill. There's so many of them. So big leather 
not really a problem hitting off to that area. Um, one thing I didn't let you guys know, I died yesterday. There was a raid going on. Enemy faction came along close, quite close to our side, and they completely annihilated it. Annihilated half of the guild's territory, and there was loads of us there and loads of enemies there. And I thought, cool, I'll go down there and have a look just to see what it's like. I didn't record it, unfortunately, but uh, I guess it was a good thing I didn't. I died in one hit. They did 1,900 damage, and if you look at my health down below, it's only 1,400, nearly 1,500. So it was a one hit kill. What doesn't help is I've still got cloth armor, and if you look at my armor on combat, it's nearly level 10. I have not been doing much fighting. I need to be hit by stuff. Apparently, if you take off your armor and get hit by wolves or god not or whatever for god knows how long, your armor goes up, which makes absolutely no sense to me. Really doesn't make sense. But anyway. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Again, all guild members so far that have been in and playing, they've all contributed to getting this base to as it is. All, everyone's helping out, leveling up different things. Uh, we've got pretty much everyone in the guild, all the skills, every single skill, are being leveled up separately from all these people. So we've got a bit of everything in here, so it's all good. Um, yeah. It's like we can upgrade these towers into uh, cannon turrets, or something like that. Let me see. I'll show you quickly. You might have seen it, right? Yeah, current cannon turret pack. I don't want to turn all of these towers into cannon turrets, but they do add splash damage. So I might make the middle one into a cannon turret thingy. Uh, but we'll find out soon eventually. Um, but yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody who's been helping out with this guild. And again, if you want to join name down below in the description so when i see you come in game and i see and someone in the applicant list if i've seen your name in the description oh not in the description if i see your name in the comments i know it's you i'll add you in because i don't really trust people random in this game there's only some people that i talk to in the game that are fine but again the trust factor in this game is very hard especially when i turn you into a regular rank because you've got Recruit and then Regular. Regular can use all of these chests. So you've got to be really careful what you do. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see other videos that I will be doing. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, cadets. A lot out. Let's have a look. Let's see what it is. Look at yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at little chingy. It's so small. It goes with my um, pirate cart boat thing.